decided to let each person have the stage and perform their presentation for everyone. And it's easier to understand and hear them, and each person then gets to be recognized for their accomplishments in this really big, exciting event. And they did a lot of work in reading and writing and researching and revising and editing. And um, so, please welcome to our second grade Wax Museum. <laughs> Right up there, turn, face your audience. Yes, girl. On July 24th, my 11th birthday, I saw my first airplane fly. I thought flying was the most beautiful thing ever. Nowadays, people know me for my love of flying. My name is Amelia Earhart. I was born on July 24th, 1897 in Edison, Kansas at my grandparents' house. After I attended the World's Fair, I decided to build a roller coaster in my yard. <coughs> and started on the roof of my barn. I am famous because I was the first person to fly across the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean and break records. I was a pioneer who said you can do anything you decide to do. Do you know during World War I, I trained to be a nurse's aide and worked in a hospital in Canada. I like to be the first to try new things. Most people think I died on July 2, 1937, when my plane and I disappeared in the Pacific Ocean. No one, some people are still searching for my plane today. No one knows if I'm alive or not. Hi, my name is Jackie Robinson. I was born on January 31, 1919 in Cairo, Georgia. I grew up in Pasadena, California, during segregation. I faced discrimination, which made me a strong person. I was great at sports as a child. So the national records were brought to up at junior college. I also, I also played football, baseball, track, and basketball at UCLA. I am famous because I was the first black person to play in Major League Baseball. I won Rookie of the Year, and in 1962, I was elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Before I played professional baseball, I I was drafted into the Army. I fought in World War II. I, after I retired from professional baseball, I marched alongside Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and helped with the Civil Rights Movement, and I helped with the Civil Rights Movement movement the rest of my life. I died of a heart attack on October 24, 1972 in Stamford, Connecticut. Steps this way. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Mark Elliott Zuckerberg. I was born on August 14, 1984. I was named after my father, Marco. Um, I am famous for creating Facebook. Facebook lets people be friends. When I was young, I was interested in playing games on a computer, and making games for other people to play. I went away to a boarding school in Exeter, New Hampshire. <laughs> I went to high school, then went to Harvard, but never finished college. I am still alive. I am 31 years old. I am one of the richest men alive. I need something to do with my money. <laughs> I was born on March 2nd, 1904 in Springfield, Massachusetts. My dad worked at the zoo. After every visit, I tried drawing the animals I saw, but they look strange. I learned the rhyme from my mother, Henrietta Suski Geisel, who sang songs to my sister and I. I'm famous for an interesting and entertaining book for children. They rhyme in hat and have crazy animals. I love drawing some animals. I met and married Helen Palmer. She struggled with illnesses and died. Then I married a girl named Aubrey. I died on September 24, 1991 because of cancer in my mouth. My, la my last words were, 
I've had a wonderful life. I've done all I've had to do. I've lived where I wish to live. I had love. I had everything. Two steps, everybody. Ready? Hello, my name is Babe Ruth. I was born on February 6, 1895 in Baltimore, Maryland. When I was seven years old, my parents sent me to St. Mary's Industrial, Industrial School for Boys because they felt like I needed a stricter environment. When I was 19 years old, the Baltimore Earls offered me the baseball contract. I'm famous because of my hitting seed put. My batting average and power combined provided me some of the greatest seasons baseball had ever seen. Many of my records stay, st still stay today. I'm considered by some to be the greatest player to ever play the game. Did you know I hit 714 home runs? In 1927, I hit a home run record of 60. This record stood for 34 years. I am no longer living. I died on August 16th, 1948, in New York because of cancer. Snow White was out full full length and I made a move. I made so much money that I bought 50 acres of land for Disneyland. I tried to make Disneyland like my home. The train in my yard gave me the idea of the train in Disneyland. Snow was getting really sick. I smoked cigarettes and I had lung cancer. I died in the hospital in 1996 on December 15th, 10 days after my birthday and 10 days before Christmas. I was born in Budapest, Hungary, March 24, 1874. At age nine, I performed in a backyard circus that I put on with my friends. In 1886, I went away from home. I am a famous movie star, acrobat, pilot, musician, and writer. I am best known for being an escape artist. I can break out of anything, even handcuffs, jail cells, straight jackets, padlocks, boxes, iron cages, anything. I taught soldiers how to escape from German handcuffs and locks before they went off to war. I flew to far away, I performed in far away places, even Australia because any, hardly any of my performers are, of my fame are willing to make the long flight to Australia. I have a Hollywood, I have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I, I am no longer living because of an infection <coughs> after having my appendix burst. I died on October 31st, 1926. teeth were knocked out. A favorite gift I received when I was young was a toy helicopter made of bamboo, cork, and paper. It was powered by a grand. <coughs> the reason I'm famous is because me and my brother built the first airplane. A myth about me is I made wings out of wax and flew across the ocean, but they melted, and I landed in the ocean, but survived.
flying so much it became the first person on the moon. My name is Neil Armstrong. I was born on August 5th, 1930 in Wapakoneta, Ohio. I had to move 16 times before I was 13 because of my dad's job. When I was six, I rode my first flight on an airplane called the Tingus. I am famous because I was the first person to set foot on the moon. I was commander of the mission of Apollo 11. I landed on the sea of tranquility on, on, Janu on July 20th, 1969. When I touched the moon, I said, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Did you know I was professor of aeronautical engineering at the University of Cincinnati? I was also in the Navy for three years, stationed in Florida. That is where I learned to fly. I died shortly after having heart surgery on July, on August 25th, 2012 in Cincinnati, Ohio. Nathan, uh -uh. I am Leonard Boone. I was born on 1734. I was born in Berks Country, Pennsylvania. My hunting provided most of the meat used to feed my family. At the age of 21, I got married to Rebecca Bryan and had 10 children. I was a great pioneer who owned the forest of North America more than 225 years ago. I founded a small town named Fort Spoonsboro. <coughs> I am famous because I blazed a trail through the Cumberland Gap that was about 250 miles long. I was captured by the Shawnee, a Native American tribe. Their leader, Blackfish, adopted me as his son. Did you know I walked through many states, including Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Florida, Kentucky, and Missouri? I am not alive. I died at I died in 1820 at the age of 85 just because I was old. <laughs>
place to go up this way. I think one, you did many giant steps this way. We've got a big crowd at the end. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming.
in my trial went to the United States Supreme Court and then they decided that segregation was illegal. I hardly knew any white people and I was married to a barber named Raymond Parks. I am no longer living. I died on October 24, 2005 at the age of 92. together, making the world a better place, and having friendship and hope. I started the Girl Scouts with just three chips in Savannah in 1912. Did you, did you know I married a man, and 16 years later he fell for another woman and moved into the other wing of her house? A week later I moved into the other wing of her house. I tried 
travels the world with my many pets like my parrot, Polly Poon. I was a very good actress. My husband and I used to put on shows for guests at our home. I am no longer living. I died on January 17th, 1927 from, from breast cancer that I was hiding. One giant step away from the desk. Give yourself a bow. Mm -hmm. wow. posters and props and things they'd like to share and they're willing to answer some questions if you have something that came to mind. I hope you learned something tonight. I know every year I learn something that I didn't know before. I always learn something. Uh, so if you would like to, we're going to put, reassemble the room a little bit, take a walk around. Children, boys and girls, please go to your own desk. We're going to move these to the